In this lesson, you will paint the old man and give him some color. There are two animation projects for this lesson, painting rough and painting final. If you don't have these files, you can download the quick start tutorial files from the Toon Boom animation website. In the painting rough animation project, you will build a color palette for the old man and create a gradient color swatch. Then you paint the old man using Toon Boom Studio Power Paint features that will speed the painting process. To start the painting the old man lesson, open the painting rough animation project in the lesson 2 painting folder. Save the animation in a location of your choice using file save it. Click the play button and watch the old man walk. You're going to give the old man some color and the candle a little bit of light. How to add a color swatch? In this step, you'll add a color swatch to the old man's color palette. If the properties window is not open, select a window properties. The properties window appears. Click the color palette tab. The color palette tab appears with the default set of colors. From the name drop list, select old man. This is the old man color palette, which you can use to organize all of the color swatches for this character. You can click the show and hide color name button on the right side of the dialog box, just above the swatch scroll bar. This changes the display to a list of swatches and their names. Select the lines flame color swatch and click the add a color button. A copy of the Lion's Flame swatch appears in the pilot style and it is called New One by default. You will edit the properties of this color swatch in the next step. This color palette provides all of the color swatches you need to paint. In this step, you will create a gradient for the candle flame. You will use the swatch you created in the previous step as the basis for the gradient. How to create a gradient, double click the color swatch you added in the last step. You'll use this swatch as a basis for the gradient because the orange color in the swatch is similar to one of the gradient colors. The color picker opens. Select the gradient option. Gradient. In the gradient panel, select radial. The colors in a radial gradient blend in a circular pattern. Click the first marker below the gradient bar. A square appears in the marker to indicate that it is editable. Change the color of the first marker to yellow by dragging your mouse in the color swatch. We use these RGB values 248 for red, 251 for the green, and 17 for the blue. You can use the color slider or enter these values manually if you want. Click below the gradient bar to add the gradient marker. The color of the marker is the same as the marker you had selected. Gradient markers represent the start or end of a transition between different colors. Do one of the following. In the alpha field, if you are using Windows system, type 150. Change the value of the last color to red. You can use these specific values 236 for red, zero for green, and blue. Close the color picker and that's it. You have created a gradient swatch. Now that you have created a gradient for the flame, you are ready to paint. To paint the flame on the candle, first in the exposure sheet window, select the first drawing in the color, me element. The old man appears in the drawing view window. Now, set up the drawing view window so that you have a clear view of the candle. To turn off the grid, press G, the default keyboard shortcut. To zoom in, press X, and to zoom out, press Z. To pan the drawing view window, press and hold spacebar and use the grabber tool to change the part of the window you are seeing. Select the paint tool from the drawing tools tool. Bar. From the color palette tab, select the gradient swatch you created for the flame. 
scroll through the old man drawings, and paint all of the frame areas. Press S to advance to the next frame, and press it to return to the previous frame. You'll notice that after you paint drawing 8, you will come to drawings that have already been painted. That's because we repeated drawings 1 through 8 in the element to create a cycle. Because each cell in the exposure sheet window refers to a drawing in the animation project, when you update a drawing that is repeated in other frames, Toon Boom Studio updates all frames that reference that drawing. Now that the candle frame has been painted it requires some minor editing to make it look more natural. In this step, you will use the Edit Texture tool to change the position and length of the flame gradient. To edit the flame in the painted zone select the Edit Texture tool from the Drawing Tools tool. Bar. With the Edit Texture tool, click the flame gradient in one of the old man drawings. The gradient editor appears. Grab the handles to rotate the gradient or change its length. You want to create an effect that looks more natural, so experiment with the Edit Texture tool. Use the handles to reshape the gradient. In this step, you are going to use Toon Boom Studio's powerful automatic painting features. You click a zone in one drawing and Toon Boom Studio scrolls through the rest of the drawings in the elements to check if there is a closed zone beneath where you clicked. If there is a closed zone, Toon Boom Studio automatically paints the zone with the same color. Another feature you need to be aware of is auto gap closing before you can fill a zone with color. It has to be completely closed. Sometimes, when you draw with the brush tool, you may not always close zones completely. When you are painting, you can set a threshold for line gaps so that Toon Boom Studio will paint zones regardless of the size of the gap that keeps them open. To paint the old man first from the tool's auto gap menu, select close large gap. In the exposure sheet window, select the column 1 drawing. Press X to zoom in on the drawing so that you can see the zones clearly. Select the paint tool from the drawing tools tool. Bar. In the color palette tab, click the skin color swatch in the old man color palette. Press shift plus alt in windows and click the old man's face. Your pointer changes to indicate that the paint or tool is active. After it is done, scroll through the drawings to check that the face on all of the drawings are painted with the same skin color swatch. You may have to manually correct some drawings because of where you clicked on the drawing it might overlap other zones, for example. Continue to use the paint or tool until all the static areas of your drawing are colored. Next, you will paint the smaller zones one at a time. Using the names of the color swatches to identify which zones they belong to on the old man, click those zones with the paint tool. Each zone will be filled with color. We will now finish coloring the old man. If you have any questions, requests or suggestions, our email shows at the end of this clip.